Hi everybody, this is Captain Ed Berger from the Tackle Direct Pro Staff. Welcome to our beautiful new 25,000 square foot facility in Egg Harbor Township, New Jersey. It's a huge showroom, our call centers in the back, and our shipping facility as well. You know, with so many products out in the marketplace today, it's becoming more and more difficult to make up your mind just exactly what the right product is for the application that you're looking to use it for. So we at Tackle Direct decided to bring in a series of different manufacturers' representatives to talk about their individual products so you can help make a better decision, a more educated decision, when you go to buy and purchase Tackle. Today, we've got a very special guest with us from St. Croix Rods. Dave Coley is here. Dave and I are going to go through the Triumph series of rods. Let's go over to the bench and see what Dave's got for us. Hey Dave, welcome back to Tackle Direct. Thanks for having me, I appreciate it. You know, before we get into the Triumph line of rods, uh, let's talk a little bit about the company. Let's talk a little bit about St. Croix itself. Well, St. Croix is uh, 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 the longest running uh, fishing rod manufacturer in the U.S. Mm -hmm. and it's been in its Park Falls facility now for over, uh, Park Falls, Wisconsin facility now for over 60 years. So we have two facilities. We have another facility down in Mexico, uh, and that, that facility uh, builds our Triumph series of rods, and that's what we're here to talk about today. All right, let's get into these Triumph rods a little bit. Tell us a little bit about them. Well, the Triumph surf and travel rods, there's two travel rods. There's a 9 and a 10-foot travel rod, um, and all of them are going to have, uh, uh, are built with our SC2 carbon. Um, SC2 carbon is pretty much kind of our basic carbon. We use it in a lot of rods. It's very durable, extremely lightweight, and a high modulus carbon. Um, these have aluminum oxide surf guides on them, as well as a Fuji DPS reel seat. So, and a very custom cork tape look. This is traditional surf kind of a look. It's you're, right. glued, you're glued right to the blank. Right, and it's a good, it's a nice light rod, so if you're going to be out there, if you're going to be plugging all day, it's the type of rod that you can really work with. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And in this series, in the two-piece series and the one-piece, you've got a seven, which is a one-piece, an eight two-piece, a nine two-piece, ten two-piece, and a ten-six medium heavy two-piece. Right. For those guys that want to do a little bait fishing. And then the travel rods, there are two, as I mentioned before, there's a nine-foot travel rod and a ten-foot travel rod, and they are four-piece and they're gonna come in a heavy duty case like this. So if you're going to Costa Rica, if you're going to Florida, if you're coming up here from somewhere else to fish our Northeast waters, um, it makes an excellent travel rod. You know, and it's interesting. I mean, it's the right size to fit in an overhead compartment. Mm -hmm. and, and you know, I, I do a little bit of fly fishing and a couple of the fly rods that I had came in the aluminum canisters mm -hmm. and they wouldn't let me take them on the plane. Yeah, because. 